Hello, this is a short video for my friends who are AppSumo fans who also own the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. Now, I'm hoping this video might save you some money because presently over at AppSumo, they have a deal on Linklay, which is a service that aims to increase your revenue by creating shoppable images. It's a fantastic idea and the deal looks great. It's only $39 for life, potentially saving you $2,000. But you won't need to buy this if you've got the ultimate add-ons. Now, let me just show you what the service does by going over to the Linklay site. And there's lots of examples on this, but really you are able to upload an image to their server and add in these clickable hotspots where you add in a button which encourages someone to go off to the link of your choosing and buy that product. So you could, I guess, use it internally if you've got your own e-commerce store or if you're an affiliate marketer and you want to send someone to someone else's site, you could use this. But as I was saying, you don't need it if you've got the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder because if I go over to one of their newer modules called Hotspot, it does pretty much the same thing. Now I'm on their site here on their example and it's not so obvious it does the same because here we are, you can see this just has a rollover effect and some text. But on my own live demo site over at ultimate.beaverjunction.com forward slash hotspot, you'll find that under modules here. I've set up an example. Let's go to the second example. And if I click here, you'll see it pretty much looks the same thing just click on there and that takes you to where you want to be and it's all there really in the module the only thing i needed to do was to make this anchor text look like a button so it's uh, you know more attractive to click on and i've done that with a little bit of css so you could grab this and place this either in your styles.css file but in this case I've actually added it to this page because it's only this page that I want this to apply to, but it's it's specific enough for you to put it globally and it'll only affect those UOB hotspots. So let me just quickly show you inside. I'll go into the page builder so you can just see how it's set up. Really nothing very complicated about it at all. Um, let me head down there. So obviously when you've got UABB installed, you go down to the H's and you'll find hotspot there and drag that in. And when you've done this, let's go into the module. The first thing you'll get asked for is an image. So you can take one from the media library or you can just use a URL to an image that's online somewhere else. And then you'll just need to add your markers by just clicking on add markers. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight into one that I've created and rush through this it's pretty simple to work out coordinates comes first so you can just move this to where you want to place your first marker you go over to marker here and you've got a few options i've chosen icon but you can have image or text which i think is more options than you would get over at Linklay. and you can do a bit of styling here you can have a square one you can have it without a background and i've set a round one with a bit of background over here and I've also put animation, which is probably quite subtle, but it was a little effect around here. Uh, you might see it, but uh, it's a, a subtle effect. And everything really happens over on the next tab called action, where you can set it to be a tool tip, which you'll need in this case, rather than a link, which will just go directly to the page of your choice. And then because you've got the WYSIWYG editor here, all you need to do is to put in your text and your link which i've styled the anchor text is styled to create that button and that's pretty much it you've got a few options here about the type of tool tip you have i've got classic here i think i'm using curved here slightly different ones you have to set it to click to make that work and here is where your tool tip padding is that's that's setting kind of this space here and um, if i wanted a bigger spot i can make that here and you've also got some options with your typography here. And also that's where you set the background color to your pop-up as well. If you don't set this one, I think it will take some of the defaults that is in your theme. And that is pretty much it. It's really easy to set up. And with that bit of CSS, you can just get that button. There is one little bit of extra CSS I've just added here, which is where I've put the price on that one. In fact, let me just say done. I've set it as a header three so I could style that 
and give it a little bit of margin between the, the button here. So let me just click on that. You might see the animation as well here. Oh, it's very subtle. I'm not sure if the video will show that. Um, yeah, so I put a little bit of space in there. But on this one, I didn't, you know, slightly arrange differently. So the only thing that you're going to lose out from Linklay is the fact that Linklay does offer to gather some statistics on the links that are clicked on. But of course, you could set that up for yourself. The advantage of using the ultimate add-ons is the fact that you're, you've got it on your own server. You don't have to embed Linklay's service onto your site. So it's probably going to be quicker on your pages. So I hope that was useful. If I have saved you some money, then please give me a like. Otherwise, I shall see you on the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.